people ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. All of this is my Martian landscape. Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury. And this is... Well, then, right now, what shall it be? Out of all this, what do I choose to make a story? I never know where the next one will take me. And the trip, exactly one half exhilaration, exactly one half terror. Mr. Clarence? Who the hell would it be? And you're filming over there. But could I... Move just... it! Sit down, sit down. Roll it, Sam. You dead in there. Rolling, Mr. Clarence. I hope this isn't one of those long damn demonstration films. Only 90 seconds, Mr. Clarence. It better be. I've got things to do. Not dead. Clay and then liquid rubber? Yes. Oh, yes. I moved you and then frame by frame photographed you. And God, even now, I can't believe I made you walk and fly and live. Wonderful. Superb. Okay, okay. We've seen better. Don't give this guy ideas. You want the job? It is the best thing we've seen. Quiet. We've got a budget of just 2,000 for the special effects. That would hardly pay for... Take it or leave it. Yes or no? Yes. Well, he's my lawyer. Talk. Talk. Okay, Sam. Roll the avalanche. Fabulous Joe Clarence the Great. Don't let his style fool you. He's big. Please, don't worry. I'm an artist, not a slave. Come, sign the contract. 
Okay. I'll do it tomorrow. Well, like it? Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hmm. Okay, now plant the king of lizards in ancient summer wilds to wade in swamps of teeming bacterial life. Okay, you saw what I did? Here is how it looks on the screen. Moving the dinosaur 1 16th of an inch at a time and taking a still picture and moving it again. Then speed it up and... said life and there was life you feel like that sometimes the creator no sure and joe clarence says work but no one works mr clarence how long have you been there forever bimbos it's a good thing i sneak around or nothing would get done in this damn place careful Careful! Whose dinosaur is this? Mine. Like hell. I pay the bills, Hamble, and that makes it mine. Glass? Yes. Who owns this dinosaur, damn it? The ungenius. Genius? This jerk driving around in that beat up wreck with holes in his socks. It's my monster. That should have been specified in the deal. I never let anyone own the thing I made. I put too much time and affection into them. So, we give you an extra 50 bucks for the beast. And throw in this camera equipment when the film's done, for free. You could start your own company, right? Compete with me, with my own machines. <laughs> When's my film supposed to start? Monday. Now, are we ready? No! He is ready. Like hell. Look at these teeth. Not sharp. I want daggers, swords, a regular 
court palace. Mm. Uh, port palace, like in front of a castle gate. Court, port, what you said. A big bite, damn it. And the back. More spikes. And the eyes. I want them boiling mad, ravenous. Big bite, spikes, eyes, ravenous. How'd you like to be fired? I quit years ago. Look, you called them claws. I want claws big as rakes, razors. I'm a week behind now. You keep coming in. You tell me to change this, to change that. So I change it. One day the tail's all wrong, the next day it's the clothes. You'll find a way to make me happy. Ravenous eyes, slavering lips. I want to see a monster. I already have. That, that's a wimp. Go on, work. Work. Don't let him scare you. Why are you so nice to me? I never marry. That doesn't bother me so much, but I would have liked a son. All these years, I never created anything. Slobbering lips. Ravenous eyes, spine like a picket fence. Teeth like daggers, swords. A cult polis. Cult polis, right. No! The eyes, more fire. The lips, more poison. The teeth, more gnash, more slaver, more bite, more gumbo. Gumbo? More. Gumbo! Gumbo. Gumbo. Voila. Well? That's a monster. No! That wouldn't scare my Aunt Sarah! Don't you know what a monster is? A monster. I'll give you a monster. If this animal ain't right, you're fired. Come on, Sam. Roll it. Well? Yeah. That's a monster. Damn it, Terwilliger. I don't believe it, but boy, you did it. That's terrifying. It sure is. That monster. It sure looks familiar. Familiar? Sure. That's T-Rex, dummy. No, I mean, it's got such a look like I met him someplace. The museum glass. <laughs> or maybe you read a book once. No, I never forget the face. Well. I hate to admit it, Terwilliger, but you got to me. Talk about fright. Okay, dropouts. Two weeks to finish the film, four weeks to the preview. Jump! Sam, another look, okay? That's a monster. Playing with fire? You're gonna get burned. Maybe not this second, but... That's me. That's 
That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Where's that scheming little worm? What? I never made enough on the money you paid me to bank in it, so you can't take that. Take my Jeep. Forget it. Mr. Clarence, let me talk to him. What has God wrought? I didn't know I was doing it, I swear. It came out of my fingers. It was all subconscious. My fingers do everything for me. They did this. Better the fingers come into my office and take me directly by the throat. Six weeks of film shot. Four hundred thousand spent. The budget shot. All those nice young actors fired tomorrow. All of us on relief next week. Don't make me feel any guiltier than I am. It's just it kept up me. Do this, do that. Do it the other way, turn it inside out, upside down, he said. I swallowed my pride. I was angry all the time. And this sort of crept in. I should have seen. We should all have seen. Think. Think of something. Right now, Mr. Joe Clarence is looking to be convinced. This is all some dreadful nightmare. A dream. Find some excuse. Say something to him. Like what? Like what? What he just told me. A touching story. Touching? Mr. Clarence, the film you just saw is... Well, a tribute to you. What? Shall I go on? If you want to. Yes, a tribute to you, Joe Clarence. The unsung hero of the motion picture industry. Unknown, unseen. You sweat out your lonely little creative life well, who gets the credit? The stars, the directors. Does anyone ever speak the name of Joe Clarence across the wide world? No. So Terry Williger gets to thinking. How could he present a real Joe Clarence to the world? And boom, it hits him. The dinosaur. What better symbol? The lonely, proud, unsung, Wonderful, terrible metaphor of power, strength, shrewd animal cunning. The true Democrat, the great, great striding individual. All thunder and lightning. Genius embodied in tyrant lizard. Joe Clarence, dinosaur. Dinosaur, Joe Clarence. He said that. He's shy. You ever hear him say much, talk back? You've always been his hero. He couldn't speak it, but he could make you immortal. Immortal? Years from now, people will say, remember that film, Lizard Terror? Sure. Why? Because it was... The one film in all history that dare base itself on Tyrannosaurus Rex. On the real hard-hitting, fast-thinking, real-life A1 caliber producer. Every day, for the next 200 years, you'll be starring somewhere in the world. Me? 
starring every day for four hundred years. Why not? My God, Sir Williger. Did you really like me that much? Well, um, it's hard to put into words. You know, I always wanted to be an actor. You're both still on the payroll, but only till the preview. Then uh, we'll see. Age before beauty. invited you to the preview tonight? My uncle, of course. Uncle? And, um, who are those girls? My girl's culture. Excuse me, I gotta go finish my good deed. We both still have jobs. And it looks like you've created something. A monster. Yeah. 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 